Welcome to Show Me Yours, where we ask three people to share their chosen restaurant in a given food category. And check those places out together. If you show me yours, I'll show you mine. Today's video is going to be absolutely all over the place. I will be vlogging as well because we are in a very small setup. The concept is very simple. We will be trying three different pensive places, all selected by each one of us, and we will be seeing who has the best recommendation at the end of the video. The responsibility of the first choice befalls on me. Now, I am not a fan of Sotang Hong, and a lot of people will kind of get angry at that, but when I tried Pancit Pute for the first time in my life, I realized that Sotang Hong, when cooked properly in broth, can actually be really delicious. I just didn't know how to do it properly. Or I just went to really bad places. Um, so the first place we're gonna be hitting is LSS uh, Fast Food, which is a little eatery next to Makati Med. Okay, parking in Makati is always a pain, but we are finally here. Are you guys excited? Of course, Pancit Puti, I love Pancit Puti. Okay, let's go. First impression, sang laki ng serving. Serve. Tempted yung sama dito. Serve Yung noodle mismo may flavor ng broth niya. Alam mo yun, kasi patis it's used as a condiment. So yung flavor you get from the broth and the seasoning you get from the patis. It's well cooked. The flavor is there. It's bouncy. It's not overcooked. Yes. All right. It's served last minute. It's assembled last minute. So I think. You can do simple food very well as long as you respect the steps. Yeah. Some people overdo it with the patis, and it's usually. I guess uh, the reason why I don't like it that is because it stinks with the mushroom and the patis. So. But no, it doesn't stink. The Philippines, when people come here and eat pancit, is never it's never in specialty shops, right? Whereas I go to Bangkok, I'll go to a spot that serves pad thai for the pad thai. Mm -hmm. And this is why I wanted to start here because I appreciate the specificity. Yeah. Nowadays, what's changing is you have a lot of spots that are getting known for balabok, for shawmai, for lumpia. And I'm loving that specificity. So I'm loving kind of like these, these eateries. I mean, they've been here for a long time, but I love how they do one thing and they do one thing really well. It's in their freaking name, LSL's Fast Food. And so this is a type of dish that if I had people coming over and say, hey, you guys want to try like a, a nice authentic Filipino experience, come here. It's clean. It's in Makati. Mm -mm. And flavor-wise, for people who've never tried Pancit in their life, it's pretty good, right? That was good. Erwan did not disappoint us. But now let's see and show the boys if may mas masarap bang Pancit na mag discover tayo. Let's go over here. Today I'm going to show you guys a different kind of noodle dish. It's a Chinese style noodle and lumpia house. But oh. it's not in Binondo, it's in Banawe. So we just got to Elia, Maki and Lumpia. Been here since 1960. Really legit, we came from a place that's been there since 1983. Um, but it seems like it's a very small space and I think they're only doing takeout um, because they have a, a table right in front of the door. Okay, it looks like they are figuring this out. It looks like we're gonna eat either on the street corner right outside or in the car. We'll see what Martin's able to do. What's the difference between Maki Mi and Maki? The Maki Mi has two noodles, but the Maki Mi has two noodles. Maki is sticky soup and it's not a noodle. Okay, Maki Mi. Because it's Maki Mi, it's two noodles. Okay, good. I just want to be very, very 100% clear. This was Abby's choice. Um, 
<laughs> no. Thank you, Abby, for choosing this restaurant. Yes, I love it. I love this restaurant. It's so cozy. Oh we get to know each other. So we ordered their their makini big. So very generous sila sa soup and some meat. Then ito yung noodles. Really excited about this. Do you like India? Ah, sakto lang. Lumpiari bill. Why is it fried? This looks very unique and different from what I've seen previously. True. The lumpia wrapper they used is not the pancakey, soft, uh, fresh lumpia wrapper we, we know. This is what we usually use for lumpia Shanghai. Ayan. And iba talaga yung texture niya when you eat it. There's so much vegetables. I love it. So it's very sweet. Kind of similar to lumpia Sariwa. Yun nga, meron siyang fried noodles. Parang ewan ko so tanghon yata. Plus yung peanuts, and it's very sweet, and I love it. I don't know, I don't know if this is a good thing or a bad thing, but this is delicious. But it's not pancit. But it's not. We spent too much time on it. It's not pancit. <laughs> Let's move off it to the pancit. Grabe! Nag-slide lang. <laughs> Nag-slide lang sa bibig ko yung pork. It's super soft. The lumpia was great. But maybe it's a matter of preference na siguro. But I'm more of, I found it a bit salty and the noodles a bit too tough. Although people would say that's the perfect doneness for noodles, right? I prefer ko naman thick noodles. Mm. So as I was expecting yung thick miki, mm. the one we usually, use, we usually see in lomi. But this one is great too. I would eat this with a dash of fish sauce, siguro. We are on our way to Bruno's, which is still in QC, and apparently they make a really good batil bato. Batil is like uh, when you beat the egg. Tapos patong, obviously, is you put it on top of your food. Tapos ang mga components niya, yung pancit, miki, yung poached egg, tapos meron siyang kara beef, just to call it legit na pancit batil patong. And of course, yung parang egg drop soup. And they serve it with uh, sibuyas Tagalog, nalalagay mo na unting suka, tsaka toyo. So, balit po, if inalagay niyo po siya dito. Dalawa sila? Apo, dalawa po sila. Balit pag may mix mo po, okay? Me, what I love about this is that there's so much happening in the dish, but it all goes together so perfectly well. All that broth where kind of like those noodles cooked, you can really taste the intensity of that fat and that flavor. The broth nila, egg drop soup. Mm. I really like their pancit. The noodles are very soft, and you get that thick, uh, very deep flavored sauce, and a lot of textures. Especially yung additional yung addition ng red onion. Sobrang ganda niyang bite. <laughs> What's <you know? laughs> Yung comment ko about the uh, previous one, the one that we ate with Ilaya, iba siya sa akin kasi it was too tough. Tough ha, not thick. And of course, usually when I eat, nakakatikim ako ng kara beef. Alone, it kind of nagugulo yung ko, but then it really works well with batil, batil patong, especially with your very fragrant sibuyas Tagalog, and then you finish it off with your kind of egg drop soup. I feel like I'm kind of confident ko, ako na, uh, parang it seems like I'm the winner with this uh, show and tell. Work while you work, play while you play. <laughs> what? Ito, ganito tapa tayo. Cheers now! Yeah.